Good afternoon and thank you for being with us for this time of daily prayer. It is Tuesday, March the 9th. Our scripture today comes from Psalm 107, verses 1 to 3 and 17 to 22. Oh, give thanks to the Lord for he is good. His steadfast love endures forever. Let the redeemed of the Lord say so, those he redeemed from trouble and gathered in from the lands from the east and from the west, from the north and from the south. Some were sick through their sinful ways, and because of their iniquities endured affliction. They loathed any kind of food. They drew near the gates of death. Then they cried to the Lord in their trouble, and he saved them from their distress. He sent out his word and healed them and delivered them from destruction. Let them thank the Lord for his steadfast love, for his wonderful works to humankind, and let them offer thanksgiving sacrifices and tell of his deeds with songs of joy. This is the word of God. Thanks be to God. Please post your joys, concerns, and prayer updates in the comment section below. You can also text, private message, email, or call me with those, and they will be included in the next daily prayer video. First, an announcement. Um, we received a grant from the District Builders Club. This will be awarded in the fall and the exact amount will be somewhere around $3,000. A big thank you to Susie Shelton who submitted all the paperwork to make it possible for us to receive this grant. For our joys, George Shea wrote, things are improving. Went for a short walk down to the mailbox and back with my wonder wife at my side did a practice of getting into the car, later got into Lisa's van for a trip to CVS Bonzac for the flu shot. Feels good to be able to travel again. Great to not have steps to tackle and to get in and out of the house. Also, Peggy Smith celebrated a birthday this weekend. Many happy returns to her. Mimi Zhang, our former music director, won the Rising Star competition at Oklahoma University where she is in graduate school. Congratulations to her. And Mary Simmons um, had a fever this weekend after receiving, receiving the vaccine and she reported that she's doing much better today. Uh, continuing with our concerns, Judy Oppenkar wrote, went to the doctor for my two-week checkup. I didn't get good news. He said that the circular cone that they put inside the bone to hold the ball has slipped way down inside. If it continues to slip, it will call for more surgery to correct it. Uh, Amy Bradford wrote, last night my mom, Sharon Dunman, had abdominal surgery that lasted four hours. Hope to take out the breathing tube today if vitals remain stable. Still very critical, going to surgical ICU. Uh, and also Phyllis Campbell had hip replacement surgery on Monday, so we're praying for her. Our prayer today is based on our passage from Psalm 107. Gracious Lord, we give you thanks for the gifts of your abundant grace. Our lives witness the power of your redemption. Our voices join with your church around the world as we proclaim your glory. Forgive us for abusing the bodies you have given us. A word from you provides restoration. Bring reconciliation and healing to those who have neglected to take care of themselves. Attend all who are sick and in pain. During times of health and vitality, you inspire us to accomplish great things. When we suffer from disease and pain, you are our comforter. Save those who are in distress. Build us up to be righteous disciples. Send us forth to proclaim of your wonderful works to all humankind. Hear us as we pray as Christ taught us, saying, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. And now may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Amen.